Hey, uh, I moved the horses around 6 a.m. I was wondering why I'd woken up at around 4. Uh, at this stage, I'm feeling a little bit like death warmed over. But I have to do the extra bit of the horse fencing here to make sure the horses don't get into an area that I'm saving and I've sown seeds on, like that area right there behind me. I don't want the horses to go in there and get tender shoots. And you can just see along there, there's a thin sheep fence, but the horses will lean right over and graze over it. So I've got to put this higher fence along before I go and collapse back into bed or go and lie in the grass in the garden with the puppies. I might do that, go lie in the grass in the garden with the puppies. Maybe that's the best medicine for me. Anyway, feeling like shit, but you still gotta do some jobs. Now, I've got to string one line all the way along this fence line up over the brow of that hill. So, hopefully, I've collected enough stakes. Yeah. You are such a needy pup. Always needing attention. Always. Oh, you want to climb up me. You are such a love bug. Yes, needy pup. Anyway, you can see this is where the horses were before. That's where I took them out of. And the fence was along here. Yeah, there's a load of buttercups, but I'm not worried about that. Buttercups aren't to be worried about. So you can see the difference. Old grazing, more recent grazing, and now they're in that. And I'm hoping they're going to get the thistles and the brome. The brome is this one in particular. This is the brome, because the sheep don't eat it, but the horses can. And they're all playing in the buttercups. Okay, so I'll start setting up the fence here. You can see they have access to water right there. And I've cut them off. There's another fence across there, so they can't go all the way back to where they've been grazing. This is what I'm trying to preserve to grow on and seed. And I'm going to be putting this fence up here. So this is electric, and this is electric. When it was just without this top line, the horses could reach their neck over and graze that. And that's what I'm trying to prevent is to get the horses to eat where I want them to eat. Whoopsie daisy. The ground under here is a solid stone shelf, limestone shelf. So some areas the soil isn't very deep. So you can't push this down very far because the um, limestone Shelf is there. There are the horses. Happy as Larry. Not minding me putting the fence up at all. Loving the big, long seed heads of brome. Aren't you, Ishka? You good girl. They've got loads of grass in here. I should cut it off and give them a section of it, but I just don't have the strength now. I've got a strength to do this 
and turn the electric fence on and then maybe go collapse in the garden and have uh, some puppy love. There is nothing more satisfying than hearing a horse munching that sound. She's actually grazing the really low stuff. I want her to graze the high stuff. So tomorrow I'll have to fence her off or fence them off to get a section to eat this stuff, the brome. Cause they're getting down to the bottom and eating. You can see she, she's eating where the sheep were eating. Isn't that right? Oh, are you worried? Oh. Oh, you're so excited. Okay, I'm gonna get, the quicker I get this done, the sooner I can go and do nothing. Ugh, yuck. Look at all the hawkweed growing. See, the biodiversity is what I'm trying to encourage across the field. And there's loads of it in there. But if I put the horses in there, they'll, they won't, they'll graze off the seed heads. And I want the hawkweed to spread because sheep love hawkweed. So I've got to finish what I'm doing. Those two are such buddies. Uh, wouldn't you believe it? I chose the one bit of fence that is gonna leave me short, or rather the two bits of fence. There's no way that this is gonna meet that. So I've now gotta go and find a short bit somewhere. Typical, when you don't have the energy, the job comes up short. Look at this. Aren't they beautiful? They're so beautiful, the purple. Such beautiful grasses here. Right here, there's one, two, three, four. Those are four different, five, there's rye. Where'd it go? There it is. There's the rye. So there's seed heads. You can tell the seed heads are different. So there's coxfoot, the brome, that's rye. Um, that's not sweet vernal. I can't remember what that one is, but that's one, two, three, four, five, just right there in my hand. Look at them. Someday, again, I'm going to make hay in this field. A number of years ago, I'd salvaged it back from a thistle nettle ryegrass and made 21 bales of hay on this small field. So one day I'll do it again. Okay, I'm gonna go and get a short bit to go from there to there. Typical, 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 typical. Job done. So my protected area is protected even from horses reaching over. And the horses have disappeared. Where have the horses gone? Oh, that's all I need. Is that, oh, there they are. Oh, they found the sheep mineral lick. Nope, that's not gonna happen. Oh dear. The horses do not need sheep mineral lick. Okay, girls, leave that be. That's not for you. Go on. You're gonna eat that whole bucket. Go on. They know they're bold. Off they go. Last thing today, I'm gonna let these girls out into this uh, 
paddock here. Because there's loads of grass. Somebody's being so stupid. Up oh, there you come. Yes, silly girl. There we go. They're gonna have a lovely time grazing now. And we can go and play with puppies. And I can lie down in the grass and do very little. A broken bucket. So, job done.